The idea is you need to have a system in place, and this is the key, building a system, building a structure behind the scenes that is going to allow you to be most effective in automating the system. And we've talked about the last two weeks ago we were talking about an intake survey. What is it that you're asking people for? What is it that you need to know about folks? And so I'm going to be doing some screen shares along the way. I'm going to be doing a lot of other information um, just to show you some suggestions, some things that we're doing. So here's one example of something that I've done. So this is for a membership site I have. Um, I work with Toastmasters International and I'm helping some Toastmasters folks be able to, to market their clubs more effectively. So what I created is this survey. It gives me, so somebody who wants to join the membership site and get an understanding of how to do some of this training more effectively and more efficiently, they are getting the, they get this page first and they fill out this form so I know who they are, I know how, their first name, their email, so I can contact them. What their club name is, I can find out if they're the PR, like if that, their role is in charge of PR, if not, who that is so that I can reach out to that person. I can find out what they're currently doing, all of that stuff. Now, after they've submitted this, it then takes them over to the sales page where they pay the $5 to access the site. But now I have a bunch of data on that person because they took the time to fill out this survey. So I can see... And, and this is set up as a form where I, this person gets tagged as, you know, completed my survey at my homepage. And then I can look and compare completed survey versus bought the product, and I can make a point of having a plan. So if they complete, complete the survey, go to the Get Started page, but don't end up buying into the product here. They don't pay the $5 to get in. Um... I can follow up with them separately and say, hey, I've got this information. I know you're interested in learning more about PR, but it didn't look like you wanted to invest the $5. Why is that? Is it the $5 is too much? Is it you're worried about too much time? Is it worried that it's going to be too technical? I can ask them a couple questions, and I could even do it as another form. And then I can, that way I'm talking to the people who are potential buyers. Because the people who just come to the survey, don't fill out the survey and leave, those are just viewers, and those are people that aren't necessarily going to be my ideal customer. Somebody goes in and fills out the form. I know they're at least dedicated enough time, which is all of 15 seconds or whatever, to fill out that form. They're at least a warm prospect for me. If they didn't buy, I can follow up with them and find out why they didn't buy. So this is the idea is that I'm distinguishing between my folks of who are just viewers or who are just eyeballs, um, prospects, checking out the page. That's fine. People who I'll fill out the form are a little bit more committed, so then I have a conversation with them. And this can happen through automated emails where they get the email saying, hey, thanks for filling out the form. This is the information I got from you. I'm glad to see it. Next email could go out three days later, say, like, and in that first email, don't forget, here's the place where you can go ahead and get into the training immediately. Just go and pay their $5. Three days later, it could have an email that says, hey, you know, I know you filled out the form. I know you checked out the page, but looks like you didn't want to invest the five dollars why not what I can do through automation is if they buy the product I can set up a system so that 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 third that email that went out three days later saying hey how come you didn't buy they never get that email they don't know that I'm following the people who didn't buy they get put into a secondary stream of emails which is hey thanks for buying here's the members area here's how to log in here's the information here's how to contact me if you have questions hey I know you've been working at it for a week how's it going or do you have any questions hey you know you're two weeks in any other questions you've got anything you want to learn that I didn't teach and just kinda of keep communicating with them but now they're already in my members they're a paid customer and that's a whole different aspect now I can talk to them and say you know what if you'd love it I can come to your club and I can do a presentation on this to your club if you'd like or I can you know if you really want I can help you build all these things for you at a cost or those kind of pieces so that I can upsell them I can offer them other options I can enroll them in different services that I have but I'm distinguishing them every step of the way either they're a prospect they just looked at the page fine they are a or they're a visitor uh, a suspect they just looked at the page they're a prospect they took the time to fill out the form or they're a customer they actually paid the five dollars I have them in those three different areas. I'm communicating to each of those three different areas easier. And I'm not wasting my time making a bunch of phone calls to a bunch of suspects who just looked at my page. I'm only having conversation with folks who at least took some form of action. That's the reason why that intake survey is so important. Plus, from that information, I can tell, are they really the person I need to call? 
or do I need to call their VP of PR instead? I have that information. I configure all of those pieces out. This, it works. It's strategic, and it's an effective concept. So that's what we mean by automation. You figure out who you, you, you're, you're marketing. You're getting your information out there, and they're coming in through some portal. And I'm going to show you another page that I've created that's another portal for a different part of my business, which is the actual automation. I help people automate their businesses. So this is that information, and it's still, I'm still building it, so it's not the sexiest page you're ever going to see. But it's got information. You can connect with me to all my social media here. All my contact information is here. If they want to go for a consultation, they can fill out this form. They get a, three, a free 30-minute consultation with me. So if they fill out this form, they get to go ahead. And now I know these are at least a prospect because they've taken the time to fill out a form. Somebody who clicks on this page, just a, just a suspect, nothing I need to know. Now, there's a couple other things I've done that are really strategic. One of the things, and I'm going to come back to letting you guys see me, one of the things I've done is I have a name badge that I wear whenever I'm interacting with folks. And this name badge here, and I'm going to see if I can get it to come clear, but it doesn't look like it wants to. Um, so that's fine. If it doesn't want to go clear, it doesn't want to go clear, and I'll deal with that. Um, but this is my name badge. But what you can see is up here there's a QR code and a number that you can text to be able to get more information. And I do that the same thing. This is a postcard. I learned this trick from Alex Mendozian. There's this postcard that I give out when I'm at a conference, and on the back there's a QR code which triggers a text message system that says, hey, welcome, like, thanks for being interested in me, so on and so forth. So I'm using text marketing to get people's attention, but what I did is strategically on the page is I let them know, like, is that cool? Did you find out about me from text messaging? Is this something you want to be able to do for your own business? Well, click here. Clicking here actually takes them to a sales page of how they can get their own text messaging program underneath me as a, for my affiliate program. So now I'm, I'm, I'm doing a passive upsell here. Maybe they don't want to automate my business. All they wanted is to learn how I did that cool text messaging trick. Great. Now they can just go and do that. And the person I work with is doing all the work for automation and I don't have to do any of the work, and I'm just getting a cut off of it as an affiliate. Um, or they can reach out to me, contact me directly. If somebody sends me an email asking, hey, I want some information, but they didn't fill out the request a consultation form, I'm going to note them differently than I am if they did fill out the request a consultation form. Because this means they're a little bit more serious than just sending me an email. So these are all the pieces that are in there, and then this is another example of it. Like, So I use Infusionsoft for all of my automation, and I help other people use Infusionsoft to automate there. Instead of me having to spend a bunch of time going through and teaching Infusionsoft and explaining how it works and all of those things, instead they can just click here to watch a demo, and that's going to take them to a page here where they get to go in, learn a little bit more about it, and put their information in. Now why do I do this? What's the point here? By the way, hi, Dr. Randy. I just saw you come in. Hi, Fiona. I'm going to finish up this piece, and I'll come say hello to you guys. Um, but the reason why I do this is, so if they're on my business card, my virtual business card page, and they want to learn more about how to automate their sales and marketing, and they click on the demo, they're going to come here, and they're going to fill out the form. Now, because this is my affiliate link, when they fill out this form, they get to go watch the demo, and Infusionsoft is going to call them, say, hey, you watched the demo. This is interesting. Anything we can help you with? Do you have any questions? And the marketing team there closes the sales for me. But because this is through my affiliate link, they then call me and say, hey, we just closed Bob, and they want to do the quick start. They want to do the, the, the kickstart package with you. They're all closed. Here's their information. Go ahead and start them on their kickstart build their stuff for them. I didn't have to make the calls. I didn't have to do the sell, sale. I just get the benefit of now having a new customer but letting the partner that I'm with do that work for me. So that works both for Infusionsoft and that also works for this JV Genius um, text interactive system.